Wow, wow, wow. Man, when I heard about this, I was so shocked. Um, you know, so as you probably could tell from the title, you know, Pee Wee Herman has died at the age of 70. Now, this is so shocking to me because it, it's one of those things where, you know, you know it has to happen, you know, but nobody actually wants it to happen. You know what I mean? You know, death is just, it's, it's part of life. Um, but it's not something that you ever want it coming, but, you know, he lived to the age of 70. You know, hey, that's a pretty long, fulfilled life by most standards. Um, but it's crazy because I remember many times growing up, you know, Pee Wee Herman, even though he's way before my time, but I'm, I was grateful for having parents and an older brother who would watch Pee Wee Herman. And we used to watch, you know, the Pee Wee Herman show. And I just remember that this man would literally just bless the whole world with his sense of humor, his comedic genius. And, you know, it is, it is unfortunate to see such a talent um, go and leave us. But, again, it's part of life. I do want to read this quick article, though, because th there is some information regarding his death that I think a lot of people were not privy to. So this is coming by way of the New York Post. And this is what it reads. P Paul Rubens, dead. Pee Wee Herman, actor, was 70. All right. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see... Paul Rubens, the actor who made millions around the world laugh with his Pee Wee Herman character, has died. He was 70. Last night, we said farewell to Paul Rubens, an iconic American actor, comedian, writer, and producer whose beloved character Pee Wee Herman delighted generations of children and adults with his positivity, whimsy, and belief in the importance of kindness. His rep said in a statement to the Post, the cause of death was cancer, according to the statement. Paul bravely and privately fought cancer for years with his trademark tenacity and wit, a gifted and prolific talent. He will forever live in the com comedy pantheon and in our hearts as a treasured friend a man of remarkable character and generosity of spirit. Hi, guys. A post to his official Instagram account included a quote from Rubens directly to be shared with his fans after his passing. So this is from, you know, Paul Rubens himself. It says, please accept my apology for not going public with what I've been facing the last six years. I will I have always felt a huge amount of love and respect for my friends, fans, and supporters. I have loved you all so much and enjoyed making art for you. Man, man, man. So, this is Paul Rubens. The reason why I wanted to read that is because, you know, I had a brother who actually had passed away from cancer. And cancer is one of those things, you know, where... It is. It completely changes your life. It completely changes your life. The medications you have to go on, you know, especially if you're a character such as Paul Rubens, Pee Wee Herman. You know, my, I remember my brother, similar to Pee Wee, he was extremely comedic. Extremely comedic. He always liked, likes to put a smile on people's face. And you have to understand, when people have that type of character... It's very difficult for them to reveal that type of information because, again, when you were the one that always light up the room, when you were the one that put smiles on people's face, the moment you tell people you have cancer, automatically you have to understand a lot of people tend to be very selfish. Selfish how? Because now rather than just living life, their life be, is centered around their cancer. The, the constant discussion is, oh, how are you doing? Are you feeling okay? Can I help? And, you know, the obvious 
answer is obviously they do need help. Obviously things are not okay, but you don't want to be reminded of that every day. You get what I'm saying? Again, this man was a comedian, so you do not want to be reminded that you need help on a daily basis. So I could understand that he was trying to fight this, you know, privately. Um, although on the flip side, I do hope that he actually did at least share it with his family members because, again, it's one of those things where it's like, it's very selfish because you're going to constantly ask about it. But at the same time, it's really going to hurt family members and friends when they're like, man, you know, we, we probably could have done some more. You know what I mean? But I do want to transition because, you know, as, as always, I like to always bring it to the Bible. And, you know, this channel is called The Message Sent. So here's the message for us today, right? I really want you guys to understand that, you know, Pee Wee has done, ran his course in his allotted time. But everybody has an allotted time. And you don't know when that time will be. But what you do know is what the Bible tells you is your life is like a vapor of mist. Poof, right? And it's gone. So one thing I really want you guys to understand, or at least leave with today, is that, you know, Pee Wee, again, he ran his course, but just be mindful, how are you running your course? You know, do you know what day, time, or hour the breath is going to leave your body? The answer is no. And if you do not know, then ask yourself, are you 100% confident that when it's your time to go, did you actually live a life that was well-pleasing to the Most High? Did you? You see, again, he's... I have nothing... I, I, I love Pee Wee Herman for his comedic genius, but I don't know him personally. He had to run his own course. I don't know what his religious belief were. I don't know any of that. But I know, for at least for me... It's very sobering whenever the topic of death is brought about because, again, it always begs the question like, man, when I leave this life, when I leave earth, have I lived a life that is well-pleasing in the sight of the Most High and lived the life in such a way where I wasn't selfish and that I was benefiting not only myself and my own family, immediate family, but I was trying my best to bless the people around me. Again, that's extremely important. Now, it's very evident that Pee Wee tried his best to bless the people around him through his art, as he has mentioned, through his comedic genius. Now, again, I don't know his walk with, you know, with him and the father. I don't know. But for you, for those of you who are listening... I pray that, you know, again, in these sobering moments when people leave us, just reflect back on your life and ask yourself, will you be prepared spiritually to leave this earth? Because you only have one crack at this. Anyway, I, my, my prayers go out to, you know, um, Pee Wee Herman's family um, and loved ones. Hopefully they are dealing with the situation as best as possible. But again, hey, in the grand scheme of things, he lived to the age of 70. And even in the Bible, it says, hey, <laughs> you know, if you live to the age of 70, that's awesome. And by reason of strength, you might get up to 80. So, hey, he lived a pretty good life, a pretty long life. So, hey, I'm not actually too hurt. I salute the man um, and what he has left behind. Um, anyway, with that being said, you guys, if you like videos like this, please like, subscribe, comment down below, share, you know, maybe other people would like to know that this man, this comedic icon has actually left us, you know, share the video. But with that being said, you guys, Nick over and out, the message sent, Jesus is king, y'all.